What's up guys, back with another Bible study, still in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 13. Let love of the brethren continue. We know from John 13, 35, that's how people will know that we're his disciples. If we have love for one another. Do not, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers. For by this, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember the prisoners as though in prison with them, and those who are ill-treated, since you yourselves are also in the same body. And 1 Corinthians 12, 26 tells us, And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. If one member is honored, all the members are honored with it. Marriage is to be held in honor among all, and a marriage bed is to be undefiled. For fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. Make sure that your character is free from the love of money. We know the love of money is the root of all sorts of evil, according to 1 Timothy 6.10. And we also know it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Make sure your character is free from the love of money, being content with what you have. For he himself has said, I will never desert you, nor will I ever forsake you. So that we can confidently say, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? We need to have that confidence. Because we know. We know. He will never desert us. Or forsake us. Remember those who led you. Who spoke the word of God to you. The apostles and. Uh, and the teachers. I don't know who it was specifically in this example. Or pastors. Teachers. Anyone who you're learning from. And considering the result of their conduct, imitate their faith. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by various and strange teachings. For it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by foods, through which those who were so occupied were not benefited. Now what is this talking about? Let's keep reading. We have, we have an altar. Through the blood, we have an altar. From which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat. That's because this altar is the heavenly altar and the heavenly tabernacle. And it's only by the blood and those who serve in the tabernacle don't believe in this case. But it seems this strange uh, teaching, it seems that people believed um, the Levites were strengthened uh, through the food that they ate through the sacrificed food because the Levites ate the sacrifices and there was a doctrine going around that um, that gave them that strengthened them but we, we know we're strengthened by grace because we have the faith that through his grace we're saved through his grace he has mercy on us it helps change us.
For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the holy place by the high priest is an offering for sin, as an offering for sin, are burned outside the camp. Therefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people through his own blood, suffered outside the gate. So, let us go out to him outside the camp bearing his reproach and Luke 9 23 tells us our Messiah told us in Luke 9 23 if anyone wishes to come after me he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me so let us go out go to him outside the camp bearing his reproach the cross For here we do not have a lasting city, but we are seeking the city which is to come, the new Jerusalem. Through him then, through Messiah, let us continu continually offer up sac a sacrifice of praise to God. That is, the fruit of lips that give thanks to his name. And do not neglect doing good and sharing, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Obey your leaders and submit to them. And again, this is speaking of the, the teachers, the preachers, the, um, the apostles. For they keep watch over your souls as those who will give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with grief, for this would be unprofitable for you. Pray for us, for we are sure that we have good conscience, desiring to conduct, conduct ourselves honorably in all things. And I urge you all the more to do this so that I may be restored to you sooner. And it's believed this is Paul who wrote the book, uh, the letter to the Hebrews. Now the God of peace, the God of shalom, who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep. And John 10, 11 tells us, I am the good shepherd. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, is the Good Shepherd who was raised from the dead. Now the God of peace who brought up from the dead the shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the eternal covenant, which we know is a new covenant in his blood, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Even Jesus our Lord equip you in every good thing to do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. I urge you, brethren, bear with his word of ex exhortation or encouragement, for I have written to you briefly Take notice that our brother Tim Timothy has been released, with whom, if he comes soon, I will see you. Greet all your leaders and all the saints. Those from Italy greet you. Grace be with you all. And that's the end of Hebrews 13. May God bless you guys.